earliest known documentation of the corn dog dates back to 200,000 BC, before corn dog, in these cave paintings. Although it may appear to be a primitive club, this large object in the figure's hand is theorized by historians to be an early prototype, what we now consider the modern corn dog. The cave dog, as we call it in the field, is similar in shape and design to what we call a corn dog, and differs mainly in ingredients. This early cave dog was mainly bag guano and hard packed clay. The ancient Egyptians are seen holding a similar style of food object, held by the pharaohs and members of high society. I mean, even then it was clear that the corn dog was something of a delicacy. And that holds true even now. The evolution of the corn dog through our modern times, however, was slow. Historians have well documented understandings of the many trials and failed attempts to perfect the corn dog. Well, back in the day, the Native Americans had actually come up with a food called the maize dog. Sure enough, soon the locals would call that the corn snack. This would not be the last time a war would be impacted by the desire for a corn dog adjacent snack. Well, during the Civil War, for example, the soldiers attempted to make rations more portable for the event of the surprise attack. So the soldiers had taken their breakfast rations, their sausage, and they stuck it onto the end of their bayonets. You know, it was a portable, but highly dangerous snack on the go. Documents say that many casualties at this specific battle were self-inflicted. Cornelius Dogman was an American man, born in Quahog in the late 1890s. Dogman came from a wealthy family, living in relative luxury even as the hustle and bustle of new industry raged inside his tiny town. Dogman's problems therefore concerned time management. As a young man trying to make it in the business world, he wrote in his journals frequently frustrated at the idea of not being able to enjoy his favorite snack, sausage and cornbread, outside of the dining room. The prison of my fork and knife continues to vex me. I crave my favorite meal so, but I cannot find the time in my busy day to eat it. If only there was a way to eat it with one hand, with no plate. So it's in these memoirs that you can find out just how important the corn dog was to Cornelius Dogman. He had this amazing desire. He was so driven to find this merger of sausage and cornbread. Continued research of Dogman's memoirs revealed that he would eventually find his white whale, but not through pure determination. Dogman immediately knew what he had on his hands was not an accident, but the future of culinary science. Taking his invention to the streets, Dogman recorded the public's reactions to different recipes extensively. The treat is a smash hit. Dogman realizes the potential of the snack immediately, and so begins the empire of Cornelius Dogman. Those corn dog commercials were everywhere when I was a kid. Man, dinner's so boring. <sighs> Wow. wow! That's right, kids. My corn dogs are the bee's knees. Dogamania was in full effect. After helping the U.S. in efforts during both world wars, Cornelius Dogman's corned dogs were hits both in the mainland and overseas. Dogman's net worth skyrocketed with each passing year, and there seemed to be no sign of stopping him. Well, it suddenly seemed like he was never going to settle in the Dogman Empire. As the world split itself in twain during the dramatic events of the Cold War, embargoes across the world shut off the spread of beloved American brands to Soviet-controlled territories. Dogman's corn dogs garnered almost 30% of their total revenue from a small Soviet-controlled territory located here, and losing it cost Dogman millions. This was the beginning of the end for Dogman. Racing to find some way out of his financial troubles, Dogman greenlights highly experimental procedures to hybridize a common houseplant with a corn dog, theoretically decreasing production costs and increasing output by 200%. Corn dogs growing on trees, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> it's a pipe dream, but it was a reality to Dogman. After experiments quickly failed and were made public, the greater corn dog community exiled Dogman, seemingly ending the Dogman empire. Dogman's heir, Cornelius Dogman II, takes the throne in his stead and immediately warps the landscape of the Dogman corned dog. Dogman Jr. makes his mission very clear that as soon as he's given the reins, that you know what? The corn dog doesn't have to stay that delicious snack of the past. Why not launch it into the future? Dogman Jr. changes the face of the company overnight, restructuring the item into a simple corn dog, a sleek new snack for the modern man. Internet promotions. Cell phone deals. I mean, he made dogman corn dogs 
the first in the industry to have a rapper's endorsement. Corn dog in my 64. Put some mustard on it, and you know I'll eat a whole pot. And with this, we come into the 21st century. Science has improved the modern corn dog into the delicious and mass-produced snack we know and love, has afforded us many privileges our ancestors never had. It makes one wonder, what more does the future hold for our delicious corn to dog? Ask no further. Hi, my name is Jeeves Stubbs. To celebrate National Corn Dog Day proper, I want to show you something we've been working on for quite some time. For the first time, you're about to see corn dogs like you've never seen them before. Ladies and gentlemen, corn dog. <laughs> 